it is something we can do uh, with some of the tools we've got, so that should be all right. And then over here, I think what's going to happen is, yeah, we're sort of going to curl this over this way. We might turn into a roundabout here. I don't know. Gifted subs. So we need a proper alert for that. Who dat? It's Minagara! Thank you very much for the gifted subs. That brings you a total of 30 gifted subs to the community. Awesome! Need to plant more trees. People need can't sleep near the interstate. Well, I mean, this is not going to be interstate right? Four lane median. It's going to be okay. All right. So, if in we want to do... Um... So it's not industrial specialization. That's not what we want to do. Right? Oh, it's this. Paint industry area. Wait, I thought I already unlocked this. No? Did I read that wrong? Oh, that's the next level. No, that's what we got now. Oh, that, yeah, that's just a specialization. Okay, I'm being, I'm being derpy. We could make this specialize into just forestry or something, yeah, but that's not what I'm thinking of. It's not the industrial one. Need more roundabouts. <laughs> and then we probably, what I can see us doing here is extending this out to a bridge to the other side, maybe? Maybe? Well, the other thing I can do is, well, I'm going to wait until we have some more money. I can put into practice something I, I discovered today that was really cool and fun. Phenomenox! Holy cow! Ma, 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 ma. I skill, uh, Quill City Skyline stream I can catch. Quill, do you have any recognition for a nice caramel tasting whiskey? Refresh, refresh, thank you. Uh, tried Maker's Mark and was curious if you had a recommendation. Thanks for the great content. Been watching you for years since Civ 4 Denmark. Wow. Well, thank you very much for your support, Phenomenox. Um, yeah, you have been around here for like a thousand million years. I do have a recommendation, actually. Um, it's not it's not a single malt or anything, but there is a Canadian whiskey brand called 40 Creek. Um, and they have a version called Copper Barrel? Copper Cask? One of those. It's got copper in its name. Um, and uh, it actually has a really nice sort of caramelly flavor. Really, really, really quite nice. It's not terribly expensive. Um, but yeah, definitely recommend it. I think it's from, maybe from Nova Scotia. Some You guys can Google it. But yeah, 40 Creek is the brand. And yeah, they've got that. And it's, uh, I like it quite a bit. Building is leveled up. Hooray, hurrah. Um, okay, we need to get some services down before everything burns down. And, um, you know, we have a million criminals. Oh, that was the more modern firehouse. Oh, no. I placed the wrong one, you guys. Guess it'll have to be okay. Eldorn, hey, thanks for the bits. Copper pot. There you go. Oh, if you're curious about the pronunciation, it's Adonalzium. All right. Thank you very much. Um, and, yeah, this will be... Uh, how do I want to root it? I guess I'll just go Phenomenox. Phenomenox. Yes, county. There we are. Here, let's give the game a save. Um, oh. I thought it would automatically name the save based on our city, but I guess it remembers the save game name is part of it. But there we've got that. My favorite thing about playing with uh, Road Anarchy mod, which I use for some things and not others, is when you turn Road Anarchy on, look at Troopy. <laughs> we still bribe you? Uh, well, I mean, it's not like it's not like I'm a mayor of or the president of a small Caribbean nation. Um, so we can't be too obvious about it. But of course, yes, I'm a politician, therefore I'm totally corrupt. <laughs> Uh, it doesn't read your tip. What? Oh! By the way, Quill, my father loves the whiskey I gifted him last year. The radio is there to scare you. Does it work? <laughs> yeah, the, the base the base radio has got, kind of got like a creepy ambiance to it. What whiskey did you get your dad? Cool, man. Curious. Okay. City's still growing well. We, I mean, you don't want to rush by like zoning too much. It's got to be, it's got to be manageable here. Our troops about corruption. <laughs> Sun's out, pun's out. The recycling center. Oh, you guys are missing workers, really? You need more, oh yeah, we need way more residential housing. So. 
I'm gonna keep you on on sort of bendy mode. But Something I was doing with some mod was causing issues. Oh, and then I accidentally toggle on underground mode. Okay, hold on. I have too many mods, you guys. There we go. And then... No, see, I need this slightly shorter. What maybe I should do is start this road first. It's whiskey Turn off chocolate. snapping. There we go. More whiskey and chocolate. Is Muggy Biz! Going from City Skylines to Angry Birds. Oh, <laughs> the The chirpy, yes. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna extend this for a second and that's just the purpose of that is simply Hmm Maybe that's the right way to do it there we are. And then bulldoze this. All right. That's what I'm looking for. I think what I'll have is sort of a three-way intersection over here. There we go, that's not bad. And then... There we are. Feels like we could have a little bit more in there. Maybe curve it up. We'll call the sack a little court, you know, one of those addresses that's so it's like Chestnut Street and then Chestnut Court over here. Yeah, I mean, the move it tool. I was trying to like sometimes with the move it tool, I end up making things not very straight. So, but maybe it would have been the right approach. All right, we'll zone a bunch of housing over here. Uh, do we have parks yet? No, because that would be... Oh, no, that's over here. Yeah, yeah, forest brush tool. Um, oh. Yeah, no, that's... Not what I was looking for, but this is another mod I have. I have too many mods! Okay, tiny town has now been reached. Park areas, industrial areas, landscaping, industry buildings. All right, hold on. This is what I want. There we go. We're going to get some parks over here. Um, so if I put it here, it won't bulldoze those... Oh, but it's, it can't be placed because of the road. So yeah, we'll just build a smaller one. Park there. Mm. Actually, let's build one here rather than have park houses right when you come off of that. I mean, maybe some on the other side, but that's gonna be okay. All right, that's looking lovely. Let's take a look at our power. Yes, yeah, the middle of the roundabout. Well, um, what I can do now, I think, if I go to landscaping tools. Aha, walls and fences. All right, pause. Turn off snapping. Grab this tool, grab the curvy one. Move it tool here. Yeah, more or less equal. 
And then, um, okay, so how does this forest brush work? I used to have, like, another mod for the forest brush. Uh, size? Make it about the right size for the middle of this. A little tinier. Okay, a little less tiny. Hmm. have an option for rocks as well. I mean, I know it's a forest brush, but it would have been kind of nice for that. But there we go. Huh? Fancy. Bad design, though, because people can't see what comes around the corner. Okay, that's true. <laughs> Who cares about road safety? It's fine. Okay. The other thing we can do is we can throw down... Where are the pedestrian paths on here? Is this what I want? Nature preserve path. Um... There we go. Landscaping tools. Gravel path. Park path. Park path with decorations. Probably this. So that area is going to consider itself to be occupied. Hmm. Are you not happy with that? Really? merge this? Someone in chat's gonna know. Oh, okay. There you go. I had to, I had to attach it to one of the nodes. There we go. That's what I wanted. preserve both of these housing sites, yes. Um, and then here, yeah, I'll probably go ahead and just end up sort of trimming that. Have another little path there for people to, for pedestrians to take a little shortcut. Excellent! Okay, nice little neighborhood, I think. Yeah, I'm not using Road Anarchy. I could, and then that, like, lets you do crazy amounts of overlap and stuff. Okay. So what's our city-state? Well, I want a little bit more um, commercial, which I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and actually remove these residential zones here. That was not supposed to go there. I guess I'd marcade tooled some stuff because I'm going to want to commercial up this sort of main street. Oops, not there, not on the roundabout. There we go, something like this. Okay, now, uh, we could buy another district, but let's first... Yeah, there we go. So I can make a industry area. So what I want to do is we're going to have an industry area all the way over here. And then, yeah, I guess we'll draw it to the corner for now. And we're going to make a forestry area over here. Now, um... We can probably make do with just two lane roads now. We have a fair amount of space for things. Oh, turn on snapping. Thank you.
So this, what we need to do now is grab and put down the Forest Street main building. I don't think it matters where it is. It does have a little noise pollution, um, which would not ping a little bit on the housing over here. Uh, not so much there. And I could just put a park across here. Maybe I'll do that. So the main building, we'll do that. All right, we have unlocked. Um, yes, excellent, thank you. This little thing here. And yeah, let me just make sure that no one's getting sick from pollution noises. Um, we're going to go and throw down... No, not an amusement park. A plaza? Eh, I don't know. Botanical garden. Right over here. There we go. I kind of like that. Okay, so now what we need is we need to make some resources. So, uh, resource extractors, small tree plantations, all we have access to. It does cap at a, pr a production of 4,800 for a week. So as long as we put it somewhere where it's got 4,800, that'll be okay. So we'll put it there. And then I run out of money. But I'm making money, so it's okay. It's all right. Trees themselves block noise now. Do we not have enough power? We don't have enough power. Okay, I was gonna say, you're not connected, but no, you're connected around this way. Um, time for a second oil plant? Are you able to take out loans yet? Um, yes, I can. And we may. Oh yeah, we could just raise the budget for now first. Let's do that. Um, I don't tend to do it. There, we'll just do this for now. I don't tend to do it too much because that's not as efficient as just buying a second one. But yeah, we can save ourselves a little bit of time. How's our water? Okay, water is still it's great. A little bit of poop flowing downhill, as it does. We got more whiskey and chocolate coming in. Is banana kamana? Please put an inflatable bouncy castle somewhere. Will do. Oh, we need some water over here. Inflatable bouncy castle. By the way, our multiplayer today will 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 be Dota Auto Chess. I know it's always the same thing these days, but I just love it so much and I have so much fun playing it with you guys. So do make sure you've got your Dota 2 uh, installed and updated. Uh, there was a big patch, version 7.22 of Dota just dropped. So you're gonna wanna make sure that uh, you have downloaded that patch uh, so you can log into Dota. You don't technically need it for Auto Chess, but you need it to just get into Dota, so. Also, Valve is doing a standalone Dota Auto Chess. Oh. Quill with no money, situation normal. If you got money sitting around doing nothing, like, what's what's the point? Why would you do that? Okay, so, I think right now, like, if this were to fill up with raw forest products, would it export right away, or do you need the warehouse for it to start exporting that and making you some money? It's a little bit moot, because, we, you know, we're going to try to... Um, to go and get a, a sawmill down once we do have some cash. Although I'll probably build the uh, power plant first. <laughs> the only surprising thing is he hasn't attacked anyone. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> um, what I might want to do over here. It's whiskey and chocolate. It's more whiskey and chocolate. Is I think I'm going to put a little zoning over here so it's not as polluty. It's monkey biz! Hashtag inflatable castles in all the roundabouts. I second this notion. I wonder if we can do that. Um, what I was thinking about doing is going and putting a industrial specialization over here just to cut down on the pollution. Um, I guess we can't... Well, I can set a forestry one. Because you don't actually need forest resources to have a forest industry. It's whiskey and chocolate. City skyline, cities at war. <laughs> uh, but if we can't do farming. Well, I mean, again, they can do the secondary bits. Yeah, it requires that requires forest, but it's renewable. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it wouldn't work out. Oh, I missed that one. I turned my head too slow. What is that? It's Boba Sh Bobo Bashug. Consider this a Kickstarter for the Poop Lake Development Fund. Yeah, we have Poop Lake Poop Crater. Something. Now I think these guys are promoting, and they need, uh, yeah, they need more educated people. Uh, we do have one school. How is our schooling situation? Um, elementary school availability is currently okay, but it's pretty tight. We need a secondary school, but we also need power. We do need more residential zoning. We can put that down because it actually doesn't cost us very much money to develop more residential zoning, and it will bring us in a bunch of money from taxes. 
or something like that. So I'm a little worried about the pollution over here. That's why I'm thinking like uh, we may we may need to make some changes. Chocolate. Whiskey and chocolate. There's no open poll to vote on. Vote no for Poo Lake. <laughs> it's Ark Damon. Hey, thank you very much. Uh, hey, Quill, love me some City Skylines. Anyway, to know which mod you're using, and then there is. Uh, you can do exclamation mark what game or exclamation mark mods in the chat, and it will give you a list of uh, my various mods. The what game has a link to my City Skylines mod. Exclamation mark mods has links to mods for a variety of different games that I use. So yeah, check that out. I made a collection on Steam, so you can just subscribe all and get all my mods. I also love that you're a tabletop gamer. What's your favorite mechanic? Much love. In Power Grid, which is a game about building like power companies and stuff, um, I really like the way that turn order is handled. It's hard to explain, but like there's sort of a first to last player order and there's advantages to being early and there's advantages to being last for different reasons because of the way there's an auction phase and stuff like that. I anyway, it's very cool. Very cool. We, first time we played that, we thought that was very impressive. We were really happy about it. So, uh, Boomtown. Okay, more areas. We still haven't unlocked the first area. Transport, buses, trams, ore industry specialization, uh, recycling, re recreational use, 420, legalize it. Uh, Pre-built road options and various things like that. Pipes with heating, advanced wind turbines, toll booths, cemeteries, right? We're gonna start getting dead people. Uh, Institute of Creative Arts, okay, well. We still, thank you for the bonus that we got for completing this. We're gonna go and put another uh, power plant down over here. Double our power, double our fun. We can probably go and justify our budget back to here because the buildings are most efficient at 100%. So now we have lots of juice, right? Yes, tons of juice to expand. We still have some money. What I wanna do is keep building Free cars plus checkpoint. Uh, the Ifrit guy, hey! So how bribable is the mayor today? I'm a politician, I'm very corrupt. Um, we're gonna build some sawmills. So this will let us turn the raw logs into sawed planks. Uh, yeah, they make quite a bit of noise. I'll build it, um, yeah, maybe around here. And we'll have a little bit of a gap from the uh, residential area. I'll build one of those. Now, I don't know what the it's ratios are. Chocolate. Like how fast Shadow the Impure, hey, another Saturday, another Quill stream. Glad to see City Skylines back on the channel as token of my esteem. I offer you this not suspicious at all package. Kaboom. Also, Shadow the Impure coming with five more gift subs to the channel for a total of 70. Holy cow, man. That's amazing, thank you very much. Um, so sawmill processes 3,200 units per week. And we're making 4,800 logs. All right, so it's good to sort of keep in mind. Um, let's go ahead and put in some storage. Now, there are two types of storage that we can do for the industrial stuff. There's the stuff that stores the raw goods, so like a log yard over here. Apparently, it can be placed outside.